Hello guys, uh, today I'm coming uh, to you with an episode of uh, how to play with Hindenburg with the new captain skills. Uh, this is uh, the map where we, uh, uh, I'm spawned at Cap A. Um, there are currently Yamato Shimakazi coming in with us and it's a very interesting match uh, that took place uh, and um, this was the map where I was wanted to highlight uh, how the Hindenburg should be played um, now uh, if you can see there are lots of people in the middle of the map trying to get to A to compensate with the spawn less people spawning at A um, Shima is going into cap A at the moment and uh, requesting for a support and I was trying to get in there but Shima basically started a bit later maybe uh, he was unable to load quickly um, now as you can see I'm already been spotted that means someone is near my spotting range obviously and I can see the serum is uh, there and uh, well the drops are already coming in uh, Shima is trying to dodge them and uh, the first shots we have taken on to sell him uh, now if you can see here guys there are lots of people who are trying to get in and if you can look at the positioning of the DDs both the DDs are trying to get into A now to make sure that uh, they can get uh, some kind of a support but but three of them are coming in here <laughs> three of them are coming in here now what's happening is I'm asking for them to spot some the uh, the DD which is on the which is uh, not inside A but obviously uh, I don't know I don't know what's going on here and you will see in this match the Jamato using Deadeye and uh, whatever i'm trying to dodge but the jamato is just with the dead eye the the, the the you know the shells are so close together it's difficult to dodge with jamato firing from such a long distance now there are if you can see uh, people are pinging on the other side of the map as well uh, because uh, the people on that side of the map are not supporting the dd uh, at sea uh, and I'm asking that if we can push in with one of the DD getting out of this cap A and trying to get to maybe towards the right side and Grozvi said yeah I'll try to help you out and I was very happy about it at least someone is trying to get towards there and give that pressure to uh, the DD which is you know parked just um, outside of A and maybe topping inside A towards all the BBs um, now if you can see the Thunderer is there, Yamato is there and Salem and there's one more DD who just who just um, you know, smoked up by the looks of it if you can see the two Shimakazi and Haragumo have been spotted at sea so it might be that it, it might be gearing here and oh my god look at that look at that dispersion man it's like so tied with this dead eye skill I'm trying to dodge and whatnot but still it is getting almost impossible now I'm I have uh, you know um, come up a fair bit towards cap a the reasoning behind is because I wanted to you know put a pressure from this side <coughs> and everyone is is still near cap a or behind it no one is trying to push if you can see we have lost three ships already with uh, one battleship and um, DD and a cruiser as you can see we have lost uh, Moscow, Holland and Yamato goodness me so now I'm in a bit of trouble here because as you can see there was there was a DD and I was I was worried about the drop tops and then there's a Salem and Thunder here and the Yamato is at the back as well I'm hoping he's not gonna send his uh, payload towards this <laughs> towards my area because I'm I was getting a bit difficult to dodge uh, dodge amount of shells because they're so tight together so now I'm trying to help out Grozavai but if I could have like gone towards right side I could have given the broadside to Thunder so I thought I should try to 
get near the smoke and then turn maybe to his right but still I got spotted but I had to turn there's no other way around it but I thought that if I turn oh I would, uh, the thunder is gonna kill me straight away but still I've been spotted and if you can see Shimokozi has sent some of the tops on this side but of no help I'm again trying oh my god look at this so I have even the full broadside there was no other way I couldn't have just gone straight into him because there was a DD on the back and the Jamato was targeting me as well and there was Selim as well so I thought instead of going close I should just move the other way and pressurize this thunder to get out of that uh, that little position that is holding up now uh, if you can see here oh my goodness so that's that that's really hurts you know like uh, thunder AP is, is very 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 strong uh, so what we're trying to what I was trying to do is put pressure in so that the team behind me can at least push a bit I was willing to you know get some you know what you call it uh, a beating <laughs> so I'm I'm, bi I'm totally battered now and if you can see towards um, the cap C and cap B we are totally you know overpowered towards that side of the area and that was the reason of me pushing up so that we can you know just kill these people or at least try to kill the people at A and make sure that if we can we can start moving towards B and see otherwise you know the pe these guys are gonna be staying at the back and um, the and the enemy is gonna be staying near a behind the mountain it's gonna go on forever so that was the reason behind me pushing and losing so much health but glad i did it so now we are moving towards uh, towards uh, towards b to see if we can you know get uh, b or maybe pressurize the people who are uh, you know in their spawn points like Kremlin, Vermont and Jumato. Uh, but if you can see the Shimakaz is trying to to uh, is trying to get towards the gearing because the last seen position of gearing was uh, this side of the map and if you can see Holland is is ha having a good time and it's on in, in, in our spawn at uh, B7 was the last spotting um, so what what I'm trying to get to here is I was just trying to get and push with my DDs to make sure that if there's a gearing it doesn't cross fire towards us but if you can see the conqueror has gone back and trying to support um, you know uh, from the other side of the map and uh, this vermin which is a shiny vermin here uh, I thought that let's focus on that and trying to get rid of that uh, vermin as quickly as possible so we have like two DDs uh, I have Stalingrad which is a pocket BB or I would say a, a proper BB and um, here we are just trying to make sure that we can get rid of this uh, this vermin as quickly as possible because uh, the AP sh shells of vermin are really 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 they really do hurt to the cruisers especially and even if you're, if you're giving a broadside so I'm, ju I'm just trying to be very careful uh, and trying to make sure that if there's a 40 second real environment if it if it does you know try to focus me he doesn't get uh, too much value out of it and uh, that's exactly what I did he must be very very frustrated with what he's doing at the moment um, so yeah so we're just pushing in and if you can see the Kremlin uh, Stalingrad has been taken out but Kremlin is in B and is pushing inside towards conqueror and shima is just running for his life <laughs> and i don't know what's going on on that side but i'll be just trying to focus on this side and uh, making sure that we are covering our broadsides uh, from at least this side of the map now i was again being targeted and thank goodness uh, it was all right -ish. it was not a big damage here I think moment is almost done so I thought I should just take a look at Kremlin and because it's just going into such a speed and it's, uh, it's from a good clan tier I think so uh, if you can see here 
our conqueror is on a path of collision with with uh, tear because i think uh kremlin has already known that uh, you know they he has made a mistake because there's there's a stalingrad and there's um, there's uh, montana and conqueror on the other side and uh, he's just gone too much in so it's just going at a full speed my guess is it's gonna it's gonna definitely try to get rid of conqueror by any way possible which is which does mean that might try to try to you know ram and i i ask conqueror to get back but <sighs> as you can see got ram and uh, what that did is because b is still not secure c is still not secure we are up on points but you can see the two of the dds the holland and uh, and the gearing are still on on the two opposite ends at the moment and uh, venezia and montana trying to get rid of that holland or at least uh, you know trying to make sure that they don't get hurt pretty bad by the tops of uh, the holland and i requested if you can cap the b now because obviously the longer it goes the points going to be in the favor of uh, of the red team again if you can see yamato here it's like with the new dead eye skill it's like its shells are coming so close can you see that oh my goodness i mean if if you are in a in a tight spot on the broad side you're gonna definitely gonna get hit by at least two or three of them and this minotaur now is trying to form stalingrad openly which is which is ridiculous and a bit ballsy but uh yeah and with the hindenburg is trying to focus on me i'm trying to focus on this minotaur i'm ignoring that uh, that uh, hindenburg for now but obviously it's going to chunk me very hard with this he um yeah i was trying to get into the safety and trying to oh my god look at this this person oh my god this is so hurtful this yamato shells really do if they hit they do you know make you suffer a lot now if uh, um, we have almost got the cap b and uh, the shima is trying to get to cap c now uh, if you can see here montana is gone holland is still running amok so i was just worried about like where am i being spotted from so i was being spotted by holland at c6 as you can see it's still there and i was hoping venezia can take care of it but by the looks of it uh they're all pushing the red team is pushing towards c for some reason i don't know why maybe that because of the two dds are chasing behind them the gearing is not spotted on this end uh this side of the map so there's a possibility it might be it might be uh, maybe towards c or maybe towards holland or whatnot so again i've been targeted by yamato but as you can see how close this dispersion is i was like i was trying to get you know the do dodging i was trying to dodge this um Yamato shells but still they are like so tight because of maybe the new skill but they are like uh, quite fearful in a sense if you're in a cruiser and you're trying to dodge a bit and but if you get hit by one or two it's like eight ten k is gone most of the time because the pencil so hard and you know the german ships they take all the damage like whatever it is multiplied by two for the normal cruiser so that's that's what i think about german uh, cruisers and ships in the world of warship so uh yeah so i was just trying to get out of this space uh out of, uh, behind from behind this mountain i've seen that southern guard is going behind or reversing so i thought that might be a dd here that's the reason he might have like spooked by one of two near misses with the top so i just stopped myself here i had a hydro but I just don't want to get out and get slapped by, uh, you know, uh, DD being spotting me, and then, then there's Yamato and everyone else, you know, their guns aiming towards this side. So what I did is I was trying to just, was trying to get out of here as quickly as easily because gearing, 
is still not spotted, which is like ridiculous. I mean, where this guy has gone? So, yeah, so if you can look at here, I was trying to get to this minnow to stop running away and maybe can get some juicy citadels or maybe try to make him, you know. But if you can see, Holland has killed Grozovai and Venezia has killed Holland over there. And the gearing is on the other side of the map. Godness me. So the DDs are playing in our spawn. And uh, yeah. Now I'm chasing these guys here because obviously it's the max range that I can I can be from them. And and Hindenburg has just killed Venezia. And Jamato has killed Shimakazi. And the gearing is still amok. And if you can see uh, the chatter here the guys are saying what the heck is going on <laughs> it is still very close they are winning with 880 and we with 813 points because we keep getting our sh ships get killed now what is going on here is guys we I'm just trying to trying to get myself um, you know get undetected so I can I can maybe get closer or get out of here because we have three we had three caps now she's being ticked again but if i'm going to push into them that's definitely with the with the yamato over there and the hindenburg with the hechi the possibility was that i might get myself get killed very quickly so uh someone just reminded me that yeah get back i was doing anyway there was no point of me getting in there uh, with two or three ships there so i thought i should just turn back and see if i can get out of there without any anyone spotting me so now if you can see the we are almost neck and neck we are just getting ahead a bit now c is being ticked and the reason for that was because we had all the three caps and we stopped the uh, the ticker from taking off from their end because they were almost similar with the with the with the lead of uh, one ship at least with the dd there as well i don't know what the dd is doing on that side maybe it's low on health i'm not sure but what i was trying to do here is uh, trying to run away to make sure that i'm not being focused fired because that's what they they realize now that i need to be killed because i am the lowest one with the with the lowest health and if you can see here in the chat as well hindi plus one for discipline so <laughs> yeah, I was I was very curious. I mean, I was uh, trigger happy to just uh, you know start with uh, getting a bit more damage, but obviously the team uh, has done a bit better, with the uh, with exception of few. But yeah, Gearing was trying to get into cap B, and Stalingrad has just I think uh, it has just radared, uh, which has stopped Gearing from doing that. And I'm still running, and if you can see, these guys are now coming back towards us, towards us, uh, and they're just trying to make sure that if I can get spotted, uh, they can take a take a few hits because the time is running out now. But there's no point now, isn't it? I'm running away. Yes, guys, uh, as promised, I'm just going to go through the captain skills quickly. And uh, these captain skills, again, are depends on your play style. Uh, according to my play style, what, I'm, uh, what I've just gone through here is I've taken the incoming fire alert. After that, I've taken uh, a pyrotechnician because most of the time you, when you're, uh, you know, fighting uh, BBs, and they are nose in and uh, AP doesn't work or they're angled so that's the that's the good uh, thing that you can take on, uh, on on Hindenburg after that I've taken superintendent to increase the number of uh, heals that I can have concealment expert which has decreased the concealment uh, by 12.6 kilometers uh, and after that I've taken this uh, outnumber skill where uh, most of the time when I'm pushing or I'm at, at a flank uh, uh, that's how I play my play style, play style is uh, it basically decreases the dispersion of shells to minus 10% and ship speed is increased by plus 8% which helps um, a bit um, and after that I've taken the um, uh, gun feeder which has uh, because you use HE and AP AP is, 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 is very good on this ship so you basically it helps with the reduction in uh, quickly taking if someone is trying to give you a broadside and turning and you can use the AP quickly 
and after that I've taken the grease the gears which basically uh, uh, help with the main battery traverse speed a lot now if we can go quickly through um, what I have on the ship uh, I have uh, India Yankee which basically uh, reduces the fire uh, on the ship uh, and also I have uh, India Delta which increases the HP recoverable H uh, HP of the ship uh, you can also use uh, uh, Juliet Charlie with a detonation one and then you can use the ones that are up here to increase your fire chance you can use the Sierra Mike to increase the ship uh, speed and another one which is uh, which is a good um, uh, you know um, flag number of foxtrot which uh, uh, d reduces the reload time of the ship consumables to minus five I don't have them but if you have you definitely put them on at the moment I'm only using the Zulu hotel to increase the commander XP because of the new change in the captain skills level uh, I don't need any any of the other ones at the moment so that's the reason of, of uh, taking that now um, <coughs> guys if you like my commentary um, definitely um, subscribe and give like or comment or dislike <laughs> if you don't like uh, have a safe safe uh, day ahead of you and uh, yeah that's it goodbye